Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Now is the time to trim your lamps and get ready for the coming of the Lord. Stay tuned for the Midnight Cry broadcast. Praise the Lord. Good morning. I so appreciate the Lord's presence in our worship this morning and the emphasis. And I was just struck with the songs that, that uh, the Lord chose through Ron and how many of them centered in the person of Jesus. And that surely is the center as we sing that song, Be the Center. He is everything. And I just, I, I don't know, I feel so unable this morning, and of course that's a good thing. I just have such a sense in my spirit of something and I can't even put it into words, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start and we'll see if it goes anywhere and just trust the Lord. You know, I made a, a statement Wednesday night that probably would be shocking to a lot of people. I said, I don't, nobody needs to be converted to Christianity. That's about the worst thing that can happen to anybody. But of course you need to define that. By Christianity, I mean the religion, man-made religion that uses Christ's name. Yes. I built all kinds of things around doctrines and their particular view of, you know, what he came to, to establish. But Christ did not come to establish a religion. Yes. God did not give us a religion to deal with the problems and with the issues that have befallen the human race. We have been separated from a holy God by our sins and our willful blindness and have fallen into a deep darkness under the power of Satan and his kingdom. And uh, it takes more than a religion to save us, to rescue us. Religion tells us what to do. But that, that's pretty useless if we can't do anything. If we're powerless to help ourselves, it doesn't matter what you say. If you've got a, if you've got a man who's in chains at the bottom of a lake, you can't give him swimming lessons to, to free himself, to save himself. It won't help. We need something else. And God has given us not a religion, but a person. And everything about what we are, what we are about, everything that we are about is that person. And if he is not the center of our life, if he is not center of our lives individually, if he is not the center of what we are corporately, then we have nothing but religion. And that's, that's the thing that needs to be preached. When Paul came, he didn't come with excellency of speech. He didn't come with fancy language. He came preaching one message, Jesus Christ, and him crucified. That was the whole of his message. And, uh, you know, there's so many scriptures that I, I almost feel like, I, well, we'll just start. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use one that just kind of encapsulates the thought because it's in... Uh, it's, well, it's at the heart of what Paul is saying in Colossians. His emphasis is on the person of Christ and his all-sufficiency, isn't it? But in chapter 3, this is a scripture we read recently, he speaks to the believers there. He says, since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your heart on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life, when Christ who is your life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Look down and uh, he talks about the fact that in Christ earthly distinctions are done away. It doesn't matter whether you're a Greek or a Jew or a or anybody else, any human category you care to name, those things are completely done away. And in verse 11, at the end of verse 11, it says this simple statement, Christ is all and is in all. You want to encapsulate what the faith that Christ came to give us is all about? is Christ. It's the person of Christ. You know, when he came into the world, you look through the gospel sometime and just take note of the many times that Jesus get, spoke words like, I am the way, the truth, the life. I am the light of the world. I am the good shepherd. I am the door. I am the vine. I am all these things that begin with I am. It was never about a religion to practice. It was about who he was. That was the heart of the message. 
And you know, you go into the, uh, the record of John in particular, it takes you back before time itself. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. And it says that everything that was made was made by Him. Nothing was made without Him. He, he is the, you talk about the Word of God. Well, I thank God for the Bible, for the scriptures that have been recorded for us. But in the strictest sense, that's not the Word. That's not the ultimate Word. The Word is a person. The Word is the Son of God who is the perfect, complete expression of who God is and what He's about and His purposes. And so you, you, find, you take this person called Jesus, you trace him back. And as far as we know, you know all, we, all I know for sure is he was there with the Father before the foundation of the world. He was there. And he was a glorious being. He spoke of the, uh, when he prayed, he said, Father, glorify me with the glory I had with you before the world was. That's in John chapter 17, if you want to look it up. And uh, he, he spoke about his desire for us that, that, they, that we, could, we could be with him and see the glory that, that he had. It was all about a person. It was all about him. And so that's, that comes down to our, our corporate life. It comes down to our individual life. You can practice the Christian religion all you want to and you go to hell if that's all you have. Boy, you better know the one that we're singing about this morning. I mean know him personally. He's, he's amazing. He's, he's, well, you know, he's beyond our, our power to express his love, his, the, the character, the, 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 uh, the heart of God that is expressed in his son. Man, I don't, need a, I don't need a religion to practice. I need a deliverer. I need this one. You know, uh, he mentioned what he was before time began. But you know, Jesus said something that was very shocking to the Pharisees on one occasion when they were talking about Abraham, and he says, before Abraham was, what? I am. You get right back to that same thing. That, he doesn't say, I am this or I am that. He just said, I am. Now, that takes you back into the Old Testament. You see the, the Old Testament with different eyes. You see that the one who walked the shores of Galilee was there. Because when God, man, when there was a manifestation to Moses at the burning bush, the one who spoke to Moses, identified himself as, as I am. That's who you are to say is sending you to rescue the, Egy to rescue the Egyptians, rescue the is Israel from the Egyptians. But he said, I am the God of Ab Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. So the one who manifested himself to Abraham, called Abraham, was the one that walked the shores of Galilee. Amen. This is uh, at, at all points in history, God's answer is a person.